We're just trying to round out, make it all nice, make a square. So first is to cut out this basically plaster and sheetrock. Yeah. And then we got to put in some two by fours. Also look up there, you don't see any. It's a little bit. A little bit. Like, you know. I mean, it, it's hard to match the uh, perfection of the original flatness. You see these layers. Trying not to make them out. Unfortunately, that's about impossible. We're just gonna have to clean this sucker, sucker up afterwards. Blame it on the plumbers. Always wear a mask on the other It actually takes almost as long to get it prepped as it does to actually put the drywall in. Drywall will be a bam, 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 bam. The last couple pieces fall right in my face. And he's getting down to the last little piece that he's got to get off. Looks like he's got it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he has it. Almost. Almost there. Oh, and bam. There it goes. Those are 70-year-old pieces of jagged, twisted steel. Do not stab yourself with it. We'll have to go to the hospital and get a tetanus shot. That's it. Always good to have a sawzall because it will saws all. I might need to get myself a hammer in here. Nah, you're like a quarter inch off, dude. You can fit on that in. There you go. Oh, we're gonna cut one more. You know why? Let's make it super sturdy because we need to shore up that shitty beam. Correct? As you can see. We have our own tailor-made mobile wood shop. I left the... And he is mobilizing it right now. 11 point whatever the fuck you said. I left the thing in there, so we're gonna use our precise measurement. Don't try this at home. Hold it. We left the... And... It's a perfect fit. Of course. You know what they say, measure twice, cut once, or is it cut twice, three times, four times, sooner or later you'll get it. Sooner or later. Okay. Pass me the hammer down there. Sure. Don't, do not drop this in his fucking tongue, dude. I remember, like, the last one, I was spending like $2,000 for a while. Okay, go ahead and tell us about the whole job so far. Well, so far we, um, we cleared it out to make it a, a, a rectangle. It's currently 16 by 29. Looks like we're pretty close on that. We might go exactly 16 and then push it into there a little and have a thing. It's all rotted right here. But so we had to create more strength with these other pieces of two by four. We're not going to worry about that because nobody will ever see it again. 
Let's go a little bit farther south. I don't want the debris in front of my house. Right over here. Let me sharpen my pencil. So while at Home Depot, we pre-cut the wood, I mean the uh, drywall. drywall to 29 inches. The same length as what? My estimated hole in the roof, which huh. turns out to be the right size. Yes. So now we're going to cut it to 15 inches. Well, 16 inches. Of course, nothing's ever exact, so it should be a little bigger. We'll just go on the far side of the line. Seems to be raining. Go. So we're going to freehand this. Nice. Looks like I should have been a pinstriper. Now you can use that one to measure your next one. We're going to go see if it fits first. Alright. That's holding this up. we got to kind of turn that out of there. And that uh, little bit of plaster or drywall in that corner is keeping your piece from going in. Well, the drywall work to get in your house, you about to completely figure out how to do it. Looking better. We had to completely clean that whole side off. All right, how are we looking? We got two pieces of little metal pieces holding this up. But it looks pretty clean, right? You got it pretty clean in there. Still one little piece here, but. All right, now we're trying to fit her in. And yes, we have parity. We're close. Very close. Not an easy fit. We just got some metal shit in there. We've got our first piece. Uh, it is a half inch, and we're going to have to need a quarter inch to put underneath it to make it even. We're going to cut one. Try not to screw into that uh, pipe up there. <laughs> oh, that's what we forgot to mark. Our, uh center beam that we created. Yeah, I'm gonna find it. Good. The thunder found it. We should be able to fit it in. This side's a little off. We might have to do a little we got our second piece in, and it looks like it's going to work perfectly. Putting in the uh, screws, getting ready for the next phase, which will be mud. Are you ready? Saturated a little right here on the edge, so I gotta pull off these and we'll just flatten it out with some spackle. You see how it's weak there? Mm -hmm. So the job is more than it entailed. It's becoming. We're going a little deeper. As you can see, expert, expert, muddy man. He's mudding it up. This will entail sanding. So normally you would tape the corner here. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that if you're not doing the whole room, you're going to see it. Right. And so what I would probably do if this was my place is put up a crown molding, call it a day. But yep. it's not my place. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it in, then I'm going to come back later, sand it, and then do it again. Because there's really not much difference between the concrete that they used to do and this. 
although most of the time this will crack because it dries unevenly when you do it like this. I was trying not to let it crack. There. We're just smoothing it out. We got some deep gaps over here, so it looks like we're gonna have to do a another good coat. But we've got the first phase done. We've got it in there plugged. We've rebuilt all the wood, and now uh, we're just sand. We're getting it mudded up, and we're gonna try to match it as close as possible.